Welcome everybody, welcome to Homestead Heart. We are getting ready now to um, get out here and try to do as much as we can on the chicken house. It's taking some time because we're having to get supplies as we can. This is a big build that we are doing. We're doing it in part. Yeah, but it looks nice though. I mean, it's coming along. Got the top part measured best I could <laughs> got my angles done up top up there now the issue is is that because my measurements are were off to begin with then it left that little piece right there was um, that it was not quite the plywood was not quite long enough to go across the top up there and it's the same on the other side now this has like so many flaws I mean just so many flaws but we're figuring it out now this board right here as you can see it's not tall enough so I'm gonna take this board down and I know exactly what I'm gonna do which is what I did on this side on this side because I didn't want to waste wood I wanted to use what I had this is three different pieces right here that's a piece and that's a piece in the middle then that's a piece <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is um I'm going to smooth it out real good. I'm going to use some uh, caulking and all of that to make it smooth so you can't see all of the seams in here. But roughly, that's what it's looking like. Now, when I cut these from the sheet of plywood, I had two itty-bitty sheets left, and I still have the back portion to do. So what I'm going to do here is the little bitty pieces. Let me show them to you that I had left. I am going to use these. Yes, I am. Here's one right here. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it up to the top. We're having to use what we have in order to make this thing work. And then I still have to use another piece of wood to cover that long strip right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get to um, getting this these two pieces up and I'll come back and give you an update. Okay, doke. Okay, so this is how it looks. I'm gonna bag up and give you a better look to show you how having a piece set together that way. It didn't turn out half bad at all. Let me stabilize this camera and zoom in so you could see. So as you can see, it didn't turn out half bad at all that middle piece of board that I put in the middle right there to cover that I gotta put a couple of more screws in that to make it lay uh, make it lay flush with the rest and then I'm gonna seal those cracks so those cracks won't even be seen and there's a flaw <laughs> so if you notice on this end of the gable here is square on this end is pointed <laughs> it's pointed but that's okay I'm using scrap material to make it work and it's still gonna be so nice because you're not gonna be able to really Jackson come back here you're not gonna be able to really recognize this um, once we get it all painted and finished up looking really really nice It'll be a detail that I would have to point out to somebody before they would even know. Unless you're like a professional contractor, then you'll notice everything. But otherwise, it looks nice um, to me for a chicken house. It's going to work for me. And I even, let me go inside. Because the cracks, oh,
So on the inside here, all of these little cracks right here, all these little cracks right here, you see like that? And I'm going to seal all of these cracks because I don't want any drafts in here from this back wall. Um, all of the ventilation is going to be, as you can see, oh, sorry. So all of the ventilation, as you can see, will be right up here on top with those windows right there. So I think I have plenty of ventilation in the coop. So I'm not worried about ventilation. Um, the one thing I am considering, let me show you. The one thing I am considering, um, in the summertime, I think these windows are the perfect size in the summer for these birds to stay cool, right? Um, in the, on this side and on the other side, big, big windows for the summer. In the winter, I think those windows are much too big. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to make um, a little fold down type of a window for the winter time and um, probably have it like on a, a hook of some sort but I'm gonna use my plywood that I have my scraps left over and I'm gonna make a window that I can lift up in the winter and maybe catch on to like a door latch or something at the very top up there and latch that closed if I can keep the wind from blowing on them and just that's what I wanted are you fighting with grass Jackson you all right you all right okay just checking yep just checking all right so that's what that's the plan right there my nest box, I got to fix it. <laughs> I forgot to put a screw in right here at the bottom, so it failed. So I just got to lift this up right here. Just got to lift it up and put a screw in, and that'll be fixed. That's not a big deal. So in any case, y'all, that is totally going to do it for this video, I do believe. Um... Y'all can tell me what y'all think so far, um, where we're coming along with the progress. You know, the biggest thing is that I'm figuring this out as we go. <laughs> I'm figuring it out as we go because <clears throat> my measurements were off. And um, as a result, I'm having to make changes here and there as I figure out where the changes need to be. But... Overall, like I said, for it to be our very first build, I mean, our very first build like this, <laughs> I'm very, 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 very happy to say that, hey, look what we were able to accomplish, you know, to say that we know little to nothing <laughs> about this. So I'm very, very happy. So um, y'all stay tuned for the next video update. Thank you all so much for watching Homestead Heart. Thank you to all of our wonderful subscribers, new subscribers. Thank you so much, all of our existing subscribers. You know, we thank you so much. We appreciate y'all so much. And, um, you know, we just, we really can't thank you enough. And also, if you would like to support our channel, please see our t-shirt shop down in the description box below. See our wonderful t-shirts and sweatshirts that we have created down in the bottom um, or in the description box below so thank you all so much again for watching homestead heart peace and blessings to each and every one of you we'll see you in the very next video